Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. And if it's not welcome back, you've been missing out on me talking about irrelevant things and games no one plays anymore. In October of 2012, Microsoft released a new game to coincide with the Forza Motorsport series called Forza Horizon, which was an open world street racing video game. It was met with widespread critical acclaim, most of the time getting about 8 out of 10 from reviewers. And today I'm going to be talking about why I think it's not very good at all. But first, some background. The premise of Forza Horizon is that you are an unheard of street racer coming into a fictional Horizon Festival in Colorado and you do lots of street races and you do winning and well done you and you get a pat on the back and a lollipop from your dad. I would also like to point out this is not me slating Forza Horizon specifically it's me slating the entire Horizon series on why you shouldn't buy any of the games. I would also like to point out that this doesn't apply to the Forza Motorsport games as well. I really like the Motorsport games, they're amazing and they're my favourite racing games on the market. First of all, I'm going to talk about vehicle manufacturing and PR. Told you this is going to be an exciting one. Forza Horizon uses real life vehicles in the game which isn't as good as fictional vehicles because of a variety of reasons. Real life vehicle manufacturers won't allow their damaged models in a video game because if you're driving your Nissan Micra at 230 miles an hour and you hit a tree your car is going to look like a pug's face and that's bad because apparently according to the car companies you'll go, well I don't want to own a Nissan Micra because if I hit a tree at 230, I'll die. And that's bad PR. This creates a visual disconnection as you hit your tree at 230 in your Nissan Micra and you emerge with a small dent on the bonnet and some broken glass in the windscreen. Also, manufacturers won't allow their vehicles in illegal activities because it's bad PR. Now, this means that you can't get chased by the police in Forza Horizon. There's no actual antagonist when you're in free roam. For example, if you're playing GTA and you hit a police car, you will face repercussions for your actions and you'll get shot at repeatedly. This doesn't happen in Forza Horizon where the worst thing you can do is hit the scenery and then you'll bounce off and your car won't even be damaged anyway. When it's impossible to face proper punishment for illegal actions when driving around in Forza Horizon, there's literally no excitement at all, there's no challenge. And I get it's only driving around, but they could have done something interesting with it sort. Also, the street racing, which is what the Horizon series is all about, isn't even proper street racing, because proper street racing is illegal so it's a closed off circuit with no traffic that happens to take place on regular roads now this is why i don't like having real vehicle manufacturers in open world games in like racing simulators like the forza motorsport series or gran turismo it's fine because you're on a closed circuit and it would be kind of weird otherwise but if you have so many restrictions, like the damage model and your ability to do things that perhaps aren't quite legal, when you've got that many restrictions on you, it's just not fun having a real vehicle in the game. Another fundamental issue with the Forza Horizon series is that you're trapped in your car. You can't get out, you can't run around, you can't steal a helicopter or a plane or a tank or someone else's car. You are solely in your own vehicle, which can only be changed by the use of a menu and a magic loading screen, where in that you'll get into your new vehicle. Not that you'll see it happen, of course, because oh no, no. You get into your new vehicle and then you'll drive away. 
this leads to a massive restriction. If you can't even get out your vehicle just to run around, let alone steal like a helicopter or something, it feels like an open world video game. Unlike the GTA series, which feels like it's a real thing that's actually happening. You're so immersed when you're playing GTA, for instance, because you can get out, because you can run around, because there are things other than cars that it feels like real life, other, whereas Forza Horizon, partly due to the damage models, and but mostly due to your restriction that you can only be in your car, it just doesn't feel right. It feels like a video game. And the whole point of a video game is for it to immerse you into a different world, something you can't do normally. For example, if you want to do something other than driving in the GTA series, you can get out, start shooting people, go crazy, go balls to the walls mental with a rocket launcher and a minigun. If you want to do something other than driving in the Forza series, Forza Horizon, this is, you could you could buy another car to be trapped in forever. Or... Yeah, exactly, I can't think of anything to do. Now this isn't to say that Forza Horizon is without its merits. It's just that all its merits can be found in the Forza Motorsport series where it works better. Like the expansive tuning and upgrading abilities or the cool feature of making your own custom liveries for your cars. The whole experience just felt like a poor man's GTA or a poor man's Forza Motorsport. I felt it just feels like mummy wouldn't let you get GTA because it's a Peggy 18 and you're only 17 years old and therefore it will scar you permanently. It's just that, it feels like a stepping stone towards better things, a stopgap measure until you're old enough to play GTA. It just feels dodgy. I'm not saying that Forza Horizon is the worst game in the world. It's not. It's not even terrible. It just feels outclassed by the competition. When the best thing I can say Forza Horizon did was the little discount signs you could smash to get money off your upgrades. It just doesn't really work. <laughs>